It's update time. I know it's been a while since my last upload, so I thought I'd let you know what's going on. Behind me is the most recent addition to my Pratrek fleet. Uh, it's a 1999 Subaru Forester. I am fixing the rust. I am replacing all of the rear suspension. So just fighting the rust, I decided I'm just, I'm cutting the arms off, cutting it all out. I'm just gonna replace it all. And there it is, all brand new parts, ready to go. New knuckle, new backing plate, new hub, new bearings, new seals, new bushings, new lateral links, new hardware, new brakes, new parking brake. Yeah! I also have new ABS sensors for both sides. Well, here's the new one. Ooh, all brand new. And there's the old disgusting... Ugh. It ended up just needing some new parking brake shoes, one wheel bearing on the passenger side here. But one thing led to another, and now I have all new suspension components, all new bushings, all new links, brake caliper mounting brackets, new wheel bearings I already have. I saw it and I thought it's worth it. It's got 102,000 miles on it. And here's the best part. Five-speed manual. And heated leather, which is nice. I did ask the person selling it for a friend. Has it been smoked in? Has it been vaped in? She swore up and down. No, 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 no. I asked the mechanic working on it. How's the rust? Has it been smoked in? It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I have never bought a vehicle that is as described. Or when I get there, which I don't actually go to buy vehicles anymore. If something's interesting, I send a friend. Most of the time, they just leave without it. Unless it's super cheap. And then, you know, I give it a go. But the super cheap ones, <laughs> they, uh, they were the uh, three Subaru Outbacks that I bought for my, uh, my 85 van again. With the Subaru conversion. Uh, one of them, the one that I bought with the engine and trans, was supposed to be my daily driver while I got the swap parts in and while I made things fit and, you know, basically just able to enjoy it before I take the engine out. Nope. Uh, it was filled with mold and mildew and stagnant water and rusted out every... It was horrible. This Forester, the rust isn't quite as bad, thankfully. The front end of the car is almost entirely rust-free. The back, which is where they all rust. The rear quarters, unfortunately, were much worse than the images. Uh, so I cut out all the rust. I cut out the wheel arch. I will be patching it. I still have the fenders that I took off of this. One has a little bit of rust in the front. I'm not worried about that because I don't need that section. But the radius of the wheel well is what I need here because anyone who does metalworking understands that creating a, a radius here is the hardest part of doing any sheet metal work. So I'm just going to cut and splice that on first, and then I'm going to put the metal in place to patch around it. Uh, what else? Oh, update about the Westie. The engine's still sitting there. I was waiting on pistons, and because the wheel bearings for the Subaru came first, I decided, oh, I'm going to get working on the Subaru. I really shouldn't have done it. I should have just focused on getting the diesel engine back in the van and rebuilt and... But no, I started going to town on the Subaru, and the piston showed up later that day. It's usually how it works. So I've got all the parts to rebuild it, and I'm going to be doing that while I wait for parts for the Subaru. Uh, the Subaru is going to be sold. I bought it for myself as a cheap beater car, but after all the stuff that I'm having to do to it, it's really eating into my Westie fund. Um, and I budget myself out pretty strictly. I'm not the type of person just to, you know, start throwing money at things until, you know, it's exactly the way that I want. Okay, I sort of already did that with my first van. And with all the work that I'm doing to it, I'd much rather sell it, maybe make a little bit of money off of it, and put that money into something that's worth a heck of a lot more. So that's that. Hit that like and subscribe. Come along for the ride. I promise you I am going to be making more videos. Actual, real videos rather than just random updates. Uh, it's just been a crazy few weeks. Uh, I've been doing a lot of random car jobs to fill the time. Weather's been crazy. <sighs>
Take it easy.